doesn't matter whose rankings you look at, Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is always at or near the top of the best zoos in America. I'm Zach Williamson, and just like many of you, this zoo is all I've ever known. We grew up here and have watched it grow too. When someone visits our city, it's often the first place we send them. That's why I want to learn more about the animals that call this place home and better introduce you to our furry, feathery, scaly, slimy, and very unique neighbors. This week's visit takes us to the Bernice Grucock Butterfly and Insects Pavilion. But we're not here to see butterflies. Yeah, she's one of our bigger girls. In fact, quite the opposite. So they'll eat pretty much anything that they'll come across um, that's smaller than them. Um, and even sometimes, depending on the size of the spider, they can take down um, small mammals. But Keeper Bailey Pratt and Supervisor Sarah Jenkins say tarantulas aren't as tough as they seem. A lot of times people look at these tarantulas and they're these big, hairy, dark, scary looking spiders, when in reality they're extremely fragile. Um, a fall from like a handful of inches could kill a tarantula. For that reason, they don't handle the big spiders directly. However, I did get my hands on the bodies that the zoo's nine different species used to call their own. Most adults will molt every year to two years, depending on size and age. Unlike us mammals or reptiles mm -hmm. that have an internal skeleton, they wear those on the outside. Yeah. I think what's throwing me off is I want to think like uh, almost like a reptile that would shed its skin and this looks like it could be the real thing. Probably the easiest way to think of it is like a, a medieval knight in a coat of armor. Yes. They can't grow within that. If they need to get bigger, they need a new coat of armor, mm -hmm. but they need to grow one underneath coat of armor so before they can take the old yeah. one off which is just like magic yeah but it's science and it's amazing <laughs> the fangs are pretty amazing too for tarantulas like the brazilian white knee though it's not the fangs you should be worried about if they feel threatened these guys specifically um will kick hairs so they have these um hairs along their abdomen called urticating hairs um and they're pretty much like little hairs that have barbs that will get stuck in the skin and be really itchy and really irritating and so that's their main defense mechanism but our two spider experts say if you do come across one of these eight-legged critters they don't want to bother you they typically are going to be more scared of you than you are of it. I'm not sure that's the case for all people, especially my mom, but you can check them out for yourself here at the Butterfly and Insect Pavilion right next door to the Scott Aquarium. Next week I'll introduce you to one of the strongest and most intelligent animals that called this zoo home. From Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, I'm Zach Williamson.